so today we are doing an exam on a barred owl. This is one of our resident birds, and she's just getting a regular checkup today. So I'm gonna show you a cool, some cool things about her eyes. So I'm just gonna open her eye. So that blue that you see right there, that's called the nictitating membrane. So it's a third eyelid that birds have, and that can be used to just protect their eyes when they're going at fast speeds. Some, bird some birds use them when they're diving underwater to protect their eyes. And it's a really a way to lubricate their eyes since they don't produce tears like we have. So if you look in her eye, you'll see the black is her pupil and then the brown is her iris. So that's the colored part. And when I shine the light into the eye, that pupil should contract. So it's not really doing it. So birds actually have um, muscular control over their pupil, unlike we do. So when we walk in a room, our eyes automatically adjust where birds can actually control how much light is getting into the eye. Check the other one. So this is called pupillary light reflex, so PLR. And it just means that light is reaching the back of the eye. So then I'm gonna show you what a barred owl ear looks like. So they're very big. And you can actually see her eye through her ear. So that grayish blue area, that's her eye. So their eyes are really large so they can see and absorb as much light um, at night as possible. And then their ears are so large because they rely so much on their hearing when they're hunting.